Hello, my name is Harry, your Heimbel Security Support Specialist, and I'm here today to show you how to use privileged access management in a step-by-step -step guide. This guide will teach you how to properly use privileged access management to elevate your administrative rights or to run an application with elevated administrative rights. Let's dive into it. Let's speak first about the difference between administrator session and run with admin privileges. Administrator session allows the user to elevate his account to administrator, and that happens by temporarily promoting the user as a member of the local administrators group. An elevation is granted in a five-minute interval after being approved by the Heinbold dashboard administrator, or in less than a minute if real-time communication is enabled on the group policy that is applying to the endpoint. The Run with Admin Privileges feature allows the user to right-click an executable file and run it with administrator permissions. Run with Admin Privileges allows the user to run files such as .exe, .msi, .msc, .cmd, and .cpl on Windows, and .pkg, .dmg, .zip, and .app on macOS. The files are run by the NT Authority backslash system by default when run with admin privileges is used. Now let me show you how they work. Let's start with the administrator session. The administrator session feature allows the user who is requesting elevation to get elevated for a specific number of minutes to run application slash processes with administrator rights. When an administrator session elevation is started, the requesting user is temporarily promoted as a member of the local administrators group. This will ensure that the user can use his own credentials, username, and password to run processes slash applications. To run a process slash application with administrator rights, you need to right-click the executable file and click Run as Administrator, just like you would if your user were already an administrator. And when you get prompted by the UAC, you need to type in your user credentials because your user has been temporarily elevated to administrator level. The second option that you have is Run with Admin Privileges. The Run with Admin Privileges feature allows the user to right-click an executable file and run it with administrator permissions. If the Require Reason option is enabled in the Group Policy, then a pop-up will appear to add details for the elevation request. This step is skipped if the Require Reason option is disabled. After clicking Elevate, depending on the Group Policy configuration, a request can be sent to the server for approval, but in this example, the Auto Mode option is enabled. After clicking the Elevate button, the below pop-up will appear to inform the user that the file has been elevated. That was it for today. Thank you for listening. For other questions or inputs, please contact us at corpsupportheimbelsecurity.com.